So, welcome to the very first overclocking tutorial of this channel. This is going to be very short and simple. Now, if you have a GTX 1060 and let's say you want to undervolt it and you want to overclock it at the same time, you just uh, need this software here, MSI Afterburner. You just want to head to the setups of the software and you want to set up the um, voltage control. You need to untick this one. After you did this, you're gonna restart the application. You're gonna head to core voltage, you're gonna set it to plus 50%, but you, you're not actually going to use it. this. You just want to set the power limit to the max, and you wanna check that the temperature limit is also set to the maximum, otherwise you will throttle, and the GPU clock will step down as soon as you get 80 degrees, which is the standard form factor for NVIDIA cards then you want to head to the car clock now you don't want to manually overclock this one you just have to hit Control F now you're gonna see the curve of the voltage now you don't have to edit every single step of the curve you just want to head to the voltage you want to set it let's say 150 1050 this one is actually the normal voltage for the GPU, for the Pascal GPUs in general. You can set it lower, but it depends on the chip you have on your graphics card. It, it may be unstable on 900, but it is definitely stable on 1050 millivolts. Once you get here, you just raise the tick until you get to 2100. Once you get to this level of overclocking, because this is actually overclocking from the stable curve which you can see here you will get this frequency on the core clock you do you just move this one tick the one that's that stays on your millivolt the one that you actually want for your card for a normal GTX 1060 let's say the, a GTX 1060 that doesn't have any kind of factory overclock you just want to move it to 20,100 whatever it is you just move it here then you just close the window you don't move anything else and you click apply when you come back you're just going to see that everything past that point is going to level on your overclock undervolt now you close this you just head here you have to do one more step the memory clock the memory clock can be overclocked to up to 700 probably but you want to stay safe because the memories don't need to go to high temperatures you want to keep them as low as possible but you want the extra performances from them so you just want to head to 500 550 maximum then you head to settings you go to the fan now you want to set up a custom curve at least you want to habilitate the software control of the fan because you're gonna need a lower temperature on your card to set up a custom, it's the same as the millivolt curve. You just move your tick to the percentage that you want for the temperature that you want. Let's say you don't want the car to go ahead of 80 degrees. You just set 80 degrees to 990% of the fan speed. So you're actually going to hear an airplane inside of your computer when it reaches 80 degrees, but it won't go further. So it's actually something you're going to want you're gonna want to do then you head to a test of course because you want to check the, if the GPU is stable now I'm just going to show you um, in a simple one minute two minutes show of Unigen Valley but you want to run the Unigen Valley for at least two to three hours don't stop it just run it check if the system is stable if you see artifacts you just close it and go back to your overclocking you just step down the curve you just hit Control F, you go to 150, okay? No, you go to 175 because it's unstable, you have to give it more power. So you go to 175, you lower the 150, you higher the 175. And then you try it again and again and again. If anything fails, you just go back to your stock settings because probably your chip is not able to reach those undervolt overclock capabilities. So you, you now you just run the software, now I have the overlay of course set it up if you want to know how the overlay works just let me know in the comments 
let's disable the sound for a moment and just hit the benchmark mode. As you can see, the GPU is actually overclocking itself. It's going past uh, our frequency, but it's not uh, going to stay there for a lot for a while. It's going to change very soon, actually. Um, as long as it uh, as it is under 80 degrees, it's fine. You just have to check also the ventilation of your inside of your computer because mine has up to six fans. Now you want yours to actually have fans to blow fresh air onto your GPU and you want hot air to blow on top of your GPU. It has to blow hot air outside of your case, so check it out. Now the GPU is actually staying stable at this automatic overclock but it's going to fall down soon. To understand if your uh, benchmark is stable, you have to see if there are any random artifacts showing up, like purple textures or any abnormal anything on your screen. That is a sign of a bad overclock. You just step down and you raise the millivolt if you see that. But it's not happening now. This is a GeForce GTX 1060 6 GB um, Founders Edition and it's not even the 9 gigabit memory one, it's the old one, the 8 gigabit uh, memory one. Now as you can see the GPU temperature is actually pretty low. Um, the room temperature is about uh, 10 degrees, so you know it's if you're in a much hotter environment you're probably gonna have like 5 to 8 degrees more than this one. But again, you have you actually have to fix uh, your inside ventilation, your case ventilation before you do anything else. But you, if you just want to try it out, you just try to do this undervolt first, then you go to the overclock. Choose your millivolt, choose your frequency and set it up in MSI Afterburner, of course. Now as we go through the test, we actually see a stable overclock. It's not going down, the GPU utilization is normal, a few stuttering here and there, but I think that's more due to the, my SSD, it's probably dying out. And there we go. This should be the last stage. Keep an eye on, if you have the on-screen display up, keep an eye on your millivolt. You don't want this to go down from 1.50 because if this is going down, but then you probably have some kind of throttling, probably thermal throttling, not energy. Well, that depends also on your power supply. But if you have a good one, you can go ahead and do this. This is the score, perfectly normal. Now we're going to, I usually get two, two, 2,900, 2,950, but now it's actually close to this score, probably of because of the recording, who knows. But now, this is just to show how the, over, the actual overclock is running. Perfectly fine, and the undervolting is actually giving you an advantage, because it's going to draw less power, it's going to draw um, it's going to set the temperature of your card lower than you would, it would be normally because normally this card would go to 70 degrees, 75 degrees and the millivolt would go up to 1075, 1093 millivolts. So try it out. Remember, Control F to open the curve. This applies also to 1060, uh, 1070s, 1080s and 3 gigabyte 1060 of course. Even 1050s but uh, with the higher cards, with the 1070 and 1080s, you can actually get lower millivolts. So let's say a 1070, you can actually set the 900 millivolt to 2000 megahertz. This is actually how far you can go with the 1070, for example. So definitely try it out. It doesn't harm your GPU at all because it's, it's uh, in undervolting. As long as you undervolt your GPU, you're safe. This is it from this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want to learn anything else, if you want to another tutorial on the MSI Afterburner overlay, for example. Anything else? I wish you good luck. 
and I wish you a good overclock.